right, y'all. So just like in our last damn conversation about Love and Hip Hop Miami, I've been drinking. So it's going to be a good one. So let's just get right on into it. All right, Veronica Vega and JoJo. I know I had my little bone to pick with Veronica at the beginning of the season, but I'm really fucking with her. I don't know why. Like, I like her. She can dress her ass off, and a bitch is cute. She sits. And did y'all catch that part when she was like, you can't do all of this because your dress is too tight? Bitch, I hollered because she slipped it in there. And then she was just like, she had a Shanae moment. She was like, bitch, I cracked myself up. You ain't got to laugh. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Oh, God. JoJo, you treading on thin ice. You said yourself this bitch is from the hood and she ain't got shit to lose. You do. This bitch will literally turn this whole entire building upside down on your ass. The only reason why you got through on her and Veronica Vega, go check my Instagram because I made a video. And the video is actually an excerpt, if you will, from my conversation with y'all about Love and Hip Hop Hollywood where I was giving my advice to Tierra Marie. Go and run. Find a local college and run around the track when you're not filming, bitch, so you can have quick reflexes. When somebody throws something at you, you got to be on it. You got literally 0.35 seconds to get across the table on somebody and handle your motherfucking business because they right there ready for you to pop off. Why in the fuck you having a heated discussion with somebody and your leg is all cocked up? Mama, you set yourself up for that one, okay? Your ass should have been ready. But here's the gotcha gotcha though. Baby, Veronica don't seem like a bitch that's gonna forget. Okay? So, JoJo, you may have gotten by. But mama, I don't think you gonna get away. She gonna tag that ass. And you better not run and play rich white girl and try to press charges. No, bitch. You started this shit when you threw a drink at me. So now, I'm gonna finish it. And I'm gonna stump a mud hole in your motherfucking ass. Moving along. And before I get off Veronica, let me say this. What made me say, you know what? I fucks with this bitch. I was feeling her fashions, but I still wasn't featuring her because I felt like she was giving Amara La Negro a hard time. But when she was like, yes, bitch, I said it. You right. She right. I said it. I said, you know what? You my kind of bitch. If I said it, I said it. I, baby, I do not hesitate to admit anything that I've done. But if it's some third party shit... Only thing that I require is tell me who the fuck said it. Do not bring me no motherfucking message if you can't identify the sender. Because, bitch, if you can't identify the sender, I can't address the message. You tell me who said it, and I will own my motherfucking shit every motherfucking time. Check my motherfucking record. Why well, I say motherfucker too much? Any motherfucking way. Shay, baby girl, God bless your relationship with VH1. If y'all can recall, the first time we've seen her and the only time we've ever been seeing Shay is on VH1. Flavor of Love, Charm School, all that was on VH1. So she got a good relationship over there. Baby, the headquarters at VH1 and Mona Scott got to chit chat and they said, well, shit, Pretty Ricky then broke up with her and now she ain't got no fucking storyline. Yo, yo, scrap me, scrap me. What you doing over there? Oh, nothing over here playing with Bambi. Jack everything you wrong. All right. Boom kick. Baby, they reached down in the trenches and they said, you know what, scrap? You ain't doing shit down in Atlanta and you said you wanted to be part of Miami anyway. So how about you skip, scott, skedaddle your ass down to Miami, Florida, and you film a scene or two with Shay because she ain't got shit going on and we got to stretch her out to the goddamn last episode so she can have a solidified seat at the reunion. You know, you know, mama got to get all her checks because I think it's paid per episode over there at VH1. Correct me if I'm wrong, Mona. Um, you know, they did what they had to do. The shit came out of nowhere. He just, this is how he popped up in the, in the whole entire scene. Hey, you really mean to tell me that Shay had no idea that she was in Miami? Coolio with the motherfucking braids. And can't we just, I want to shine a spotlight on her because VH1 didn't do her any justice. VH1 paid her <sighs> dust, honey. That girl that was sitting next to Shay in that entire scene. Mama didn't get no time. She ain't get no attention. She didn't get no love. No, ma'am, VH1. I thought we was equal opportunity over here. Bobby Lights and Jeffrey. 
And I guess I can throw Malik dry face ass up in there too. Um, and while I'm at it, let's just make it a, um, a double day. Let's throw Prince in there as well. So let's start with Bobby Lights and Jeffrey. I told you, bitch. Did I not? I told your ass it wasn't gonna work. Baby, you slap a queen and it is done and done. It ain't no coming back. You you slap me. You And he sounded so Beverly Hills white woman. You said you would never put your hands on me. Nobody has ever put their hands on me. And baby boy, please don't tell me you was going so strong on that punching bag that you didn't realize your thick ass friends was walking up behind you. With that dry ass, stiff ass weave. Girl, please. She curled that shit three days ago and tried to spray some goddamn light about it on it so he can have some bounce in the scene. No, ma'am. Poof. La boof. Uh-uh. No, ma'am. No spam. No turkey. And bitch, clearly, we are all out of ham. Ugh. Anyway, I knew that wasn't gonna work. I knew the apology wasn't gonna work, but Bobby, you was giving a mean New York tease when she was like, I don't give a fuck. Do it look like I give a fuck? Because I don't. And then in the next scene, she was like, Oh my God, I just can't. Ah. That's what she was given. You had already said that you was okay if he didn't want to be with you. You just wanted him to accept your apology and to forgive you. Bitch, he did. He was like, you already know I... And what the fuck do you be on, Jeffrey? Or do you feel like barely opening your eyes is the sexiest thing in the world? Bobby, get it together. Get it together, gather yourself, clutch thine pearls, and move on. Jeffrey is not the one for you, boo. I told you from jump, it's Prince. The one that's really for us. We be like, oh shit, that's just my friend. Oh, that ain't nobody. Oh, that's just Bubba. Oh, that's just Jackie. Bitch, Bubba and Jackie is your motherfucking soulmate. Malik. Baby, let me tell you something. It just dawned on me. Do y'all realize that Malik is wearing a motherfucking kimono in his confessional? What straight man is wearing a kimono? I know I sound like a broken record. No body believes you are straight. They never believed it. And it's so crazy because as soon as you told Prince that you was gay, he was like, I already knew. He didn't tell you, but he said it in the confessional. And I really wish he would have said it to your motherfucking face so you could have gotten a picture. Bitch, you ain't fooling nobody. Because let's, let's go down further in the episode when you met up with a homeboy and you wanted to reflect on the city and just clear your mind. We going to start with the fact that you was up there posing like you was in Vogue Italia. Just giving all the face, all the moves, all the body. That's what she was giving. And then once body locks had came or whatever, and y'all was talking, you got overwhelmed and you was like, I need a minute. I don't know who was sashaying harder this season, you or Bobby Lights. I guess she was thinking, well, bitch, Bobby shows you what he can do at the pool party, but bitch, let me show you what I can do now. Because that's exactly what you did. You said, Shay, Shante, yay. You gave it all you could give. And you cracked like a motherfucking corn chip. As soon as that boy grabbed you, I just, I just, I just, I think we know it's going to be a unanimous response when you go around telling people that you gay. I don't think nobody on planet Earth believes that you are straight. Nobody. Helen Keller could see and hear that you are gayer than Bloomingdale's on a Christmas sale. As if your fashion didn't give it away. Your skincare. The fact that you laser your hair off your face. All of it. Girl, the only thing you ain't got is a short finger wave. You got titties. You, you got all but hair. Because I know your face be beat. To kingdom come. Maybe I don't even want to talk. Don't even say I forgot about Trina and Trick because you know how I feel about that shit. Trina, find business of your goddamn own. Let's dive into your love and your hip hop. And stop hip hopping your ass up in your goddamn cousin business. If she want to string her goddamn marriage along for four goddamn years, that's what she want to do. She still love the man. It's bitches. Woo. Misery love company. 
Now, as soon as you done broke this bitch up, now you got you a man and you all happy and shit. And your cousin out there fucking every nigga in goddamn Miami and still searching for love that she had in Trick Daddy. Trina, you done pissed me off. Your whole team is pissing me off at this point. So, I, girl, and Dawn, you are smuggling your way into every scene that you can. You done went from Mimi to Jocelyn and now you with Trick and Trina. And squeezing yourself in Trick's business. Can we kill her off the show? Can we kill her off the show? But y'all, that's all I got. This, oh, she done pissed me off. She, oh, she done made me mad. Like, oh, I just... Thank you. But y'all, that's all I got for y'all. Same place, same time. And do not forget, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment. Keep the conversation going and share. Tell all your friends about it. Because, bitch, they need to know what I'm thinking as well. So we can all be on one accord. Numb your hoe, rain game motherfucking kill.